Hello, welcome to another tutorial on Howler Basics. Today I thought we'd do something uh, quick, fun, and easy. It's a um, fantasy uh, map. And uh, with Howler, very simple and easy to put yourself together a fantasy map. So we'll go pick out the size you want for your map and uh, go to filter and to render and do plasma noise. It uh, comes up with seven as its uh, default. You can go down, you know, just a little bit if you want more land masses and things, or you could go up a little bit more if you, or I'm sorry, if you want more water mass. If you want more land mass, you could go up a little bit more. Um, but I think seven usually makes a, a nice thing if you want to, you know, have some different possibilities. Just kind of click on the uh, little bar to get something that you think will look pretty cool. Then you say, okay, you can do this seamless as well. And if you want to do a 3D map, that would be a good way to start that as well. All right, next thing we're going to do, come up here to filter, and we're going to adjust threshold. And uh, it usually, I've already done this once, usually it comes up somewhere about the middle. And you can adjust up or down as you um, want your water and your land masses to be. You kind of have to decide which way you want it. You know, maybe we want to go this way. We've got, you know, lots of ocean and a little bit of land mass, or maybe, you know, go back the other way. It's just something that looks good to the eye that you think that might be a lot of fun. I mean, over here, maybe we have, you know, something that's, you know, very uh, northerny and lots of, you know, Vikings and things. And we've got a nice little uh, area that, you know, connects up. We've got some good ocean, some little bit of islands and things. So once you find something that looks, you know, nice to the eye, and whatnot, kind of depending on how you want to do it, then you uh, say OK. Now at this point, you could, uh, you know, stop, and you've got huge land masses with some lakes and things that you could, you know, ride on. Um, we're going to, uh, you could also invert it if you wanted all the black to be water and whatnot. But we're going to continue making this much more map-like. So for now, we go to convolve and then just down to edge detect and there you see we have something that's much closer to very map looking now we go to filter color and invert the value so we've got us a good map here if we want to make the lines a little bit stronger go back to adjusting the threshold bring it up just a little bit uh, more to make a nice little bit darker lines so here we have our map We've got nice ocean here in the middle, and then we've got you know some good land masses, some northern land masses and things. You could uh, start labeling things and whatnot. If you wanted to show off your, your water and everything, you could do some basics. If you want to, uh, to start using flood fill, you need to make sure that you close the outside lines. You can either close them yourself or a uh, quick and easy way is just to take a our square here and just put a little border around the whole thing doesn't have to be real big just a little bit of border and you can make it a, a fancier border or a less fancy border kind of whatever works for you but that closes off our edges so that then if we pick some water here and I want this to be my ocean there we are and that's one of the reasons we want to strengthen our um, lines around so that kind of holds it and then we could fill in our other you know waterways that way um, and then you can uh, go in start putting little mountains or, or whatnot however it is that you want to continue to enhance your map but for the basics we're gonna go ahead and call that uh, enough for today uh, maybe I'll do another one if people are interested or we add other fantasy features and can fix it up even more and uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you have any other comments or there's any other things that you'd like to see discussed, go ahead and please put it in the comments. Please subscribe. Let your friends know. We try and keep it nice and simple here. And this will work uh, with Howler 9, Howler 10, Howler 11. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. Bye.